Are we testing as much as we used to do? Has our testing capacity gone down or is still as high? Um, yes, um, MFA. So we still receive samples, but interestingly, now we receive a lot of um, the so-called routine surveillance um, samples. So those from the hospitals, uh, maybe people who who are rushed to the hospitals or who show the signs and symptoms of, of the infection and so are sent to the hospitals. It's as if the tables um, seem to be tested, to be changing. So we rather see a lot of such cases uh, compared with um, the usual so-called enhanced um, contact tracing um, uh, kind of, of, of samples. Which means that, again, um, it will have a lot of implications because if, if you are seeing a lot of people going to the hospital, so being classified as a routine surveillance, then uh, chances are that uh, people may be sitting in their homes uh, showing the signs and symptoms, but uh, because of maybe stigmatization and other issues, they may not even be able to um, go to the to the hospital. So uh, all these things they have a lot of implications. But uh, in terms of this uh, adoption of the WHO discharge protocol from from isolation, I, I am just thinking that we may want to tread them um, cautiously. Um, I mean, of course, even the WHO itself indicates that uh, there should be some level of risk assessment. Mm. Um, and remember, as for Ghana, we, we, we've, we've done so very well. And I don't think that the fact that WHO says we should forget about, of course, they give a number of reasons, i.e. lack of equipment, lack of personnel, and so on and so forth. Uh, I think we need to assess ourselves if we feel that um, we have the needed resources we have enough beds within our isolation centers, and we have enough testing capacity, so we have the logistics. Then, because look, if, if I am even symptomatic or asymptomatic, and I am taken to an isolation center, and after a period of time, I am asked to go home without any, any test, I think um, psychologically, uh, I think we should really be, be treading Cautiously, of course, it is true that um, after this period of time, you will not find any infectious viral um, RNA. But even with that, there are a lot of other contradicting um, studies where, in some cases, they realize that samples taken from the from sputum, so sputum samples may tend to still shed some active or some infectious same um, RNA. And even in the same WHO, um, um, the WHO document, there's, they, they, they actually cited um, one study. They, they named, amazingly, they named it one possible outlier. So there may be mm. some outliers whereby for this particular person in one patient, the viral cultures were positive from upper respiratory tract specimens. They conti it continued to be positive mm. until day 18, even though this person did not show the signs and symptoms of the infection. So I am thinking that as a country, we may want to generate our, local, our own local context-based um, um, data to enable us or to inform us um, on some of these um, discharge, discharge uh, protocols. I mean, the, the WHO is our mother uh, health organization, mm -hmm. but I think that as a country, we also have our own uniqueness. And some of the studies they actually quoted, they have very, very limited or few number of patients, nine patients. I mean, I'm just wondering how, how you can extrapolate results from nine, 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 nine patients. I mean, in another study, they, they actually included them, um, one, two, nine patients. And they, they themselves concluded that in that particular study, they concluded that 30 of the patients were immunocompromised. But look, we are talking about asymptomatic patients against them, um, symptomatic patients. So I, I am just thinking that, I mean, now the, the, the release is already out. Yeah. I don't know if we can go back and tread them. Um, uh, cautiously, because uh, like like one of the one one of the questions, you may never know. I may appear um, healthy, I may not even know that I am harboring the virus. But 
tested, I will be, I, I, I will turn out to be, to be positive. Yeah. And look, as a number of confirmed cases begin to go up, chances that in the midst of your friends, maybe once a, a group of people sits together, about 10 people, chances that some of them may be positive, though they may be asymptomatic, asymptomatic may gradually be increasing. In fact, chances that you yourself, you may be positive, is gradually increasing and gradually becoming a reality. I think we should we should kindly uh, tread cautiously with this um, straight uh, adoption of this so-called um, um, discharge um, protocol mm. by the WHO.